I remember the very first time going to the gym. It was when I lived in California about eight years ago. And it was actually a 24 hour fitness. I don't know if you're familiar with that. I remember walking in and this gym was ginormous and I had no idea. I've never been to a gym. All of this equipment, it was overwhelming. People getting these pumps and they're wearing their tanks and they're all sweaty. And I remember feeling really nervous and intimidated because I've never been somewhere like this before. And I remember just kind of walking around, watching everyone work out and I would copy like, you know, what people were doing and pretend like I knew what I was doing. It was definitely an experience to remember. My name is Ashley Lakamowski. I am 32 years old. I am from San Antonio, Texas, and I am a Dragon Pharma athlete. I remember the first time I went to the gym. I was a senior in high school and they put me into a weightlifting class. And I walked into this gym with all of the varsity athletes and I realized I had no idea what I was doing. So I just did abs the whole time. <laughs> My name is Caitlin White. I'm 24 years old from Detroit, Michigan. I'm a wellness competitor and I'm a Dragon Pharma athlete. I remember the very first time I went to the gym for the first time and uh, that gym was you feet. I didn't know how to work out. My best friend took me there. I didn't even like to work out, to be honest with you guys. But turns out that I love to work out. I love to train. My name is Rafael Lucas. I am from Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. I'm uh, 34 years old. I'm um, a heavyweight competitor, and uh, I'm a Dragon Pharma athlete. I remember the first time that I stepped foot into a gym, and it was my home gym. So when I was 11 years old, I worked with my grandpa all summer long in a peach orchard, and my mom said, what do you want to do with the money you made? I said, I want to buy a weight set. She was confused because I never had anybody to push me into this, so she let me do it, because uh, I was motivated from watching Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone movies, and I wanted to look like that. So I started working out in my house when I was 11, and I set foot in my first gym when I was 13. And that's when I learned that there's a lot more stuff that I can get my hands on to make my body better. Uh, more equipment, the atmosphere, because where I lived is a small dungeon type gym, rusty, equipment from the 1980s, and I love the atmosphere. More just hardcore, just, just go in and work hard. And that's where I started building my foundation, and that's where I got started. My name is Brandon Barrow. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Virginia. I'm a super heavyweight competitor, and I'm a Dragon Pharma athlete. Bodybuilding to me means strength, power, discipline, consistency. Something that I've learned through this are all of those, and it becomes a lifestyle, and for me, bodybuilding has become my life, and, and also growth. Bodybuilding is growth, right? So not just physical, but mental as well. To me, bodybuilding is an art. It's a craft that you work hard on every single day trying to perfect. And in the end result, you have a beautiful physique that you get to showcase and show to everybody. Bodybuilding to me is, um, is an art. It's a sport that you have to dedicate yourself 24-7. It's not like another sport that you just dedicate two hours of the day, three hours of the day. You gotta carry uh, uh, that sport in your body 24/7. So bodybuilding to me today is um, is something that I can't live without it. Uh, I love what I do. I do because I love it, and um, and that's it. Bodybuilding to me is my lifestyle. Honestly, my life revolves around my workout schedule and my meals. It, for me, has helped me develop discipline, consistency, and a hard work ethic in my life that has trickled into other aspects of my life, my work, my relationships, and it just really helped, to me, develop me as a person and, and character. Um, so for me, bodybuilding is my life. It is a huge part of my life, and without it, it would be very tough. But bodybuilding, to me, is honestly one of the biggest things that helps me get through the day. So I have a few favorite bodybuilders. Um, 
I will say the first bodybuilder woman, female, that I admired was Erin Stern. And so when I first got into bodybuilding and when I got into competing in the figure division, I really, really admired Erin Stern. I just thought she, um, you know, just had this beautiful physique and her confidence on stage. And just, I loved her background of being an athlete. She was very, you know, consistent, determined. I loved that. And for me, like, I admired that and I wanted to do that. Obviously now she's competing, she switched over to bikini, but she's still absolutely stunning and I still admire her. She was the first female that I just, that really kind of was like, hey, I would love to compete. I also admire Ronnie Coleman so much. Um, I just love his resilience, his, his determination. And I feel like in a way, like I relate to him in that sense because I feel like I'm a very resilient person. And I feel like I'm always motivated um, and I don't let things knock me down. I feel like you can either have the mentality of either being like, oh no, and giving up, or you can be like, no, I'm gonna keep on going. And I feel like in that sense, like we relate in that way. And I just really admire his dedication to bodybuilding and never giving up and you know, still having a full-time job and doing what he does. And um, another one is Latora Watts. Um, I admire her so much. I think she's absolutely stunning, beautiful. Same thing, she went through, um, you know, her. she had a surgery and she was out for a while and she came back and she redeemed herself and she took second place at the Olympia and I just admire her and I feel like all of them are just super humble people but still wonderful. My favorite bodybuilder is Nicole Wilkins and she basically like kind of like inspired me, her physique, how she can be so muscular and so feminine and that's something that's really hard to do in bodybuilding. So she's definitely my favorite bodybuilder and I definitely aspire to have a feminine, beautiful physique that's muscular at the same time. My favorite bodybuilder is Flex Wheeler. Um, what I can relate to him is his symmetry, his perfectionist, um, the way he poses, and the way he he managed the sport. I think he was really um, about the training, nutrition, and the, the pose routine. So that's the bodybuilder that I, I I really like. That's my favorite. So my favorite bodybuilder would be Luke Sando. Uh, I'm a, I was a huge fan of Luke. His physique was awesome, and it wasn't even where it could have you know, gotten to. His humor, the fact that he didn't care what anybody thought about him, and his, his work ethic was you know, bar none. He went to the gym, he killed it every time, and that's why he looked so as good as he did, and he was as successful as he was. So I can kind of relate to him in the aspect of that. It's just I love going to the gym consistently in this really just training hard and hardcore and lifting heavy weight. Because Luke would you know pull seven, eight plates, strong ass guy, and that's what I want to do as well. I started prep in January. I know it seems like a really long time. Obviously we are in November and so the plan this year was to do USA's which is in Vegas, which is in June. So we were prepping for USA's and then with, you know, quarantine, with everything going on, it set us back. Um, and so I had to reverse diet and then plan for another show. Then that got canceled. So reversing back, but it was still our main goal was to shoot for a show. For me, no matter what, I was gonna shoot for something. Um, and I felt like, I feel like if anything this year has been the most growth that I've ever had, physically and mentally, because it's been a very challenging year. I know it's been a challenging year for everybody, but especially when you're preparing for a show. Um, prior to this, I did two national shows um, the, year, the year before. I did um, Junior Nats, which was in Chicago, and then I did USA's, which is in Vegas. Um, and I placed, third, I placed third in both of those shows. 
So after that, my plan was to work on what I needed to work on. And I was determined to come back undeniable. And so when January came, we started prep a little bit early because I, I wanted to get started earlier. And you know, at first it was kind of like, ugh, you know, you're working towards something and, and you get kind of discouraged and upset because you're playing on a show. But if anything, it was just like, okay, that's okay. You know what, this just gives me, I looked at it in a way where, you know what, this gives me more time to work on more, to look even better. And so it was definitely challenging, but I think that for me, I'm so hungry for this show. I want to win, that I worked on everything. And in the back of my mind, I thought to myself, you're going to do amazing. Don't give up. The show's going to come. Don't think, oh, what if it cancels? You know, just work towards this. And so um, I'm just really, really excited and I'm, I'm really grateful that I'm even able to do this show and that this is actually happening. So in my mindset, I'm thinking, okay, let's, let's end this year with a boom. Let's, you know, if anything this year, like I said, is just has been complete growth for me. And I'm just grateful. I don't know if that seems, you know, okay to say that, but, um, you know, I'm just super, super excited to do this show. And um, yeah. So this prep was completely different from my last show. Um, I did figure last year, so I prepared for the new wellness division. So my entire, my diet, my training, everything was completely different. Last year I focused on upper body, upper body, upper body, and I was trying so hard to grow my upper body that this time around I kind of had to like lay off the gas on the upper body and just try to destroy my legs and put on as much tissue as possible. I started cutting down for this show in July and last week on Saturday, I won the overall at my competition and that night decided that I was gonna be doing nationals this weekend. So I'm very excited and I'm very ready, so. My prep this time was a little bit harder, a little bit different. Uh, we prepped for 10 weeks and uh, this prep was, Matt Jens was pushing me to a point that I, I didn't know what I, what I was doing. And um, I never did two cardios in any prep. Um, so I was doing two cardio in this prep. My diet was really, really, rest, uh, like really, really tight. Um, but I think everything's, uh, he has a purpose for everything. So I believe, his, I believe in him. I believe I'm gonna be in my best condition. Um, I'm hungry for the pro car. I did my last show was a, a nationals in Pittsburgh. I got top six because of some shoes that I had. But right now I'm 100% on point, 100% on my mind and hungry for that pro car. So let's see what, what's gonna happen. So for my nationals prep, I started prepping 16 weeks out. And honestly, this was the hardest prep that I have ever done. I did, this is my second national show. I did USA's in Vegas last year and I got third place. So I was close to getting my pro card there, but I fell short. Um, honestly, that prep was easier. And this being my second national show, definitely was the hardest in terms of energy levels, you know, not even wanting to get up and walk around. But I knew then goal in sight and what I wanted to achieve. So I did what I had to do to get to each meal, each workout, get my sleep, just repeat the next day. Um, but this has been the hardest prep. No particular struggles. I didn't have any injuries, thank God, but just in terms of energy and just overall prep, this has been the hardest one. But with that being said, it could be the hardest one, but I'm coming for the pro, my pro card and I know it's not gonna be easy, so I knew what I was getting myself into. Because I, for this show, this is everything that I want. I want to become a pro bodybuilder and really start my career as a pro bodybuilder.